Hey guys, it's Dee Dee. So today we are going to be reviewing a bag and I'm sure you can tell by the title which one we're going to do. So uh, the bag I will be reviewing today is the Vera Bradley Tablet Tote in Blue Bayou and um, I mentioned in my monthly Vera's video that I was going to be reviewing this bag because I think this bag warrants a review all to itself because it's wonderful. So I did bring my tablet in um, so that I could show you. It's called the Tablet Tote um, because of this pocket right here that is meant and it's padded. It's meant for a tablet. So I have my, I, my third generation iPad right here. And that has sand all over it for my beach bag. And this is where the tablet can go. So that is the tablet pocket. And then it's got a turn lock right here. And fits nice, securely, and snugly in there. Now let me just say, I love this bag. However, you can see what a tight fit that pocket is like for that tablet and this is an iPad I, I know there are bigger bigger tablets out there um, a mini would certainly fit in there of course um, but it is a really tight fit even with my slim case on it so I have this um, this is a Targus slim case and you can see how thin and slim it is to this iPad First off, people who have a tablet, I would say 99% of them have it in some type of case, protective case to protect it. And they're not gonna be, wanna be taking the case on and off just to fit it in something like this. I wish that Vera Bradley would make their tablet type totes or bags or backpacks or whatever. I wish they would make the pockets just a little bit bigger because if you have an iPad like this or even the iPad Air and you have a keyboard case or something bigger than this kind of case on it, it is not going to fit in this pocket that's made to carry it. So that is my one gripe about this bag. It's, it's really my only gripe about this bag. I just wish that they would make their tablet pockets just a little bit bigger so it can accommodate things like you know, the Bluetooth keyboard cases or even just bigger cases in general. So that's that. Um, I forgot to say this bag retails, I think for $88. I'll have it linked below. Um, this is a, a new current item. This is, uh, I believe this item was released around Christmas time of last year. Um, so yeah, so that's that. So let's get on with the bag. So on the outside, you have your tablet pocket. You also have these two nicely sized slip pockets. These are really nicely sized. Like I put my hand lotion in these. Um, a water bottle could certainly fit in that. Um, so you have one on each side. You have nothing on the back side. It has two unquilted handles and I actually don't mind that the straps are not quilted. So that does not bother me if it bothers you guys. I mean, I know that that does bother some people. For the price that you pay for bags or totes like this, I think that the, the straps could be should be quilted. However, the problem I have with quilted straps is often they don't stay on your shoulder very well. Whereas these kind of lay flat, the quilted ones kind of stick up and one is always like falling off. So I don't really have that problem with this tote. So on the inside of the bag, that's the inside. You have a zippered pocket over here on one wall. And then on the other wall, let's see if I can do this. You have a slip pocket right here that's big enough to accommodate a cell phone, you know, whatever, tissues, whatever. And you have the same size slip pocket right here. And in the middle, you have three pen pockets right there. So those are nice. I honestly wish that in all of my totes that I have, I wish they had at least one pen pocket. That is so stinking handy to have a pen pocket right there. I never lose my pens. I always need one. So it's nice that they're right there in a pocket. They have their own place in my bag. Um, 
And the two slip pockets are really nice to hold a cell phone. I know like I hold wet ones and some makeup products and stuff like that in, in one of my pockets. So that's nice. The zippered pocket is a really nice big zippered pocket. Like it's pretty deep. It's pretty wide. It doesn't go across the whole bag um, or wall of the bag, but it, it's a it's a perfect size zippered pocket and it's it's really deep. Um, this bag has a non-removable base. I have read on some of your comments, um, and on some other people's videos and comments on their videos and stuff, that this base is washable. Like, the bag is still washable. And this does not feel like cardboard, guys. This feels like a thin kind of plastic, one that would not be ruined if you washed it. My only thing with that is, is that I'm afraid that it'll get warped or it'll, you know, it, it'll lose its shape after washing, even washing on gentle or hand wash cycle or whatever. I just worry about that base not being, you know, holding its shape after a wash. So that is the base of the bag. I don't have any bag here that's even comparable to show you except for a regular size tote so you can maybe get an idea of the size of this bag. So that is the regular tote. Let's see if I can show you the base. So that is the base. If you are familiar with the regular Vera Bradley tote, you see how wide this is. This is a great size bag. This this definitely strikes me as a work bag though and I actually use it as that so it is fabulous for work it's great to tote my my tablet back and forth to work when I need to and everything I could possibly want fits in this bag it also has a zippered top and it's like one of those breakaway zippers so it is connected on one end and it's open right there which that doesn't bother me so much I don't care and and they did this breakaway zipper right I think to where it doesn't go down it's not recessed like two inches into the bag it's probably only an inch that that zipper goes down so that's the zipper right there if you can see if breakaway zippers bother you which i know a lot of people don't like breakaway zippers this bag has one so that could be a downside if if that's not your thing but i do appreciate the fact that they even added a zipper to this bag because as we know a lot of vera bradley bags totes they they'll have the toggle or they'll just be open or they'll just have one little snap and you have your ends open so I do appreciate the fact that this bag even has a zipper so I do like that um I don't know what else to say about this bag I I love it this is I mean this is such a good work purse slash tote and that's exactly how I use it I put my personal things in there it's a good work bag you could even fit I wonder if you could fit why don't I have my laptop in here I was gonna say this thing could probably even hold a laptop it is quite a a large tote bag so I'll just leave you with that so anyway guys that is my review I love this bag I think um for the quality and the use that I'm going to get out of it, I think $88 is fair. And let's be honest, a lot of Vera is a little bit, okay, some of it a lot, overpriced. I think for the quality of this bag, I think $88 is a fair price. I really do. Um, obviously, <laughs> I mean, always try and get it on sale, as I did, but... Um, you know, if it's something that you really, really want. I mean, beer is always on sale. Who are we kidding? Um, but being as this is a newer item, you might have to wait a few months till it is on sale. And maybe one of the patterns that's going to be going out the door. So, anyway, that is my review on the Vera Bradley Tablet Tote. And the pattern is Blue Bayou, which is absolutely beautiful. So if you guys have any questions, any comments, please feel free to leave them below. Um, also, if there's any other things items that I've shown recently that you would like to see reviewed, please let me know in the comment section and I'll be happy to do so. So thank you guys as always for being the best viewers ever, ever, ever. And I will talk to you again soon. Have a great week, everybody.